Well, the politics are, is already hurting the Italian economy tremendously. Uh, the, the sort of lack of action of the Berlusconi government for, for many, many years, uh, the Monti's policies, policies of raising taxes and doing nothing else, uh, the complete inaction of politics since essentially Monti resigned last around December last year, but I think since the previous summer he basically was not doing anything. It was like a government waiting to, to end. So we basically did not have a government for almost a year in the middle of a major recession. So that's already done a lot of damage. The best way of putting it is that, uh, as always, Italy tends to do things at the last moment when they are with their back against the wall. And uh, Mario Monti was appointed as a sort of an emergency government uh, about a year and a half ago. And all he could do was to raise taxes uh, tremendously and uh, did not have the political ability or political will or political strength to do something more pro-growth and less recessionary, which would have been to put spending under control and do some st structural reform. So uh, those, a lot of these things are political because he couldn't do that because he was blocked by a variety of, 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 of problems. And now the result of this is that the economy is in a deep recession. Uh, we had uh, minus 2.5 minus last year. It's expected to be minus 1.5 this year. There are uh, companies closing, uh, unemployment is rising, youth unemployment is very high. So I think the next government has to really has to finally take some action on the on uh, on, on structural reform for the economy and putting spending under control and uh, reduce taxes, even at the expense of having a little bit higher deficit if necessary, and put the bank back in place because the banks, there is a credit squeeze going on in Italy as well. And so that's another, the other big issue. So the economy is in deep trouble. Uh, sometimes Italians rise to the occasion uh, and at the last moment they come up with something decent, but the time is running out. Did Monty make a mistake to become a politician? Well, history will tell, in my opinion, yes, in the sense that uh, uh, he made the mis this mistake is correlated to the previous mistake which he made, I think, which is, was when he was elected in this uh, in the emergency government, for the first two or three weeks of his government, he really took some aggressive action. And then he, instead of continuing in, in the direction of being really aggressive and drastic and uh, attacking privileges and attacking what Italians hate, which is all the cost of, the cost of politics and all these privileged politicians, that, and use that as a way of saying, okay, now I made the politician pay, now we need to do something about cutting wasteful expenses for everybody and this and that. It did, it did very little of it. It just raised taxes and got people very upset. And uh, then when he started, then his decision of running for off as a politician was also a little bit strange because it's pretty clear that he would not have won. Perhaps he was hoping that the Partito Democratico would win more decisively and form a coalition with him. Uh, that was, a, I guess, a miscalculation. But now he finds himself in the middle of a, really of the fight as one of the many politicians fighting. And, uh, and uh, I don't know whether that is, is his skill is that, as opposed to being an economist and the savior of the, of, of the country, as it could have been. <laughs>